The Hare and the Hedgehog. It was a beautiful morning in late summer. The sun was shining and the grain was waving in the breeze. The lark was singing in the clear blue sky and the bees were buzzing about the flowers. All things seemed happy, even the hedgehog, standing at his door, singing a hedgehog song. Indoors his wife was washing and dressing the children. I will go and see how our turnips are getting on, said the hedgehog to himself. The turnips grew in a field nearby. He and his family ate them and looked, and looked upon them as their own. He shut the house door and off he started. He had not gone far when he met a hare. The hare had come to see how the cabbages were growing. Good morning, said the hedgehog. Now the hare was rude and bad-tempered too. He did not even say good morning. What are you doing in the field so early, he asked rudely. I am taking a walk for pleasure, said the hedgehog. Taking a walk for pleasure, laughed the hare. I should think it would be all your crooked legs could do to carry you where you need to go. These words made the hedgehog very angry. He hated most of all things to have anyone speak of his crooked legs. Do you think that your legs are better than mine, he asked. Of course they are better, said the hare. Let us put it to the test, said the hedgehog. I'm sure if we run a race, I shall win. What a joke, laughed the hare. Do you really think that you can beat me in a race? If you can, I'll give you a bright new gold piece. Agreed, said the hedgehog. Let us start at once and run across this field. Oh no, answered the hedgehog. There is no need for such haste. I will go home first and have breakfast. In half an hour I will be back. The hare agreed to wait, and off went the hedgehog. When he got home he called his wife. Wife, wife, he said, come at once to the field with me. I am to run a race with the hare, and a new gold piece is the prize. Have you lost your senses, asked Mrs. Hedgehog? Why, the hare can beat you without even trying. Say not a word, said her husband. Come with me, and I will show you how I mean to win. As they walked along, he said, see that large field? The race is to be across it. The hare will run in one furrow and I in another. You must hide yourself in a furrow at this end of the field. I'll start in the same furrow, furrow at the other end. When the hare comes near, pop up your head and say, here I am. The hedgehog now left his wife and went to the place where the hare was waiting. Do you really mean to race, race with me? asked the hare with a rude laugh. Yes, indeed, said the hedgehog. I'm ready now to start. Each placed himself in a furrow. The hare counted. One, two, three, go. And away he went like the wind. The hedgehog ran only a few steps. Then he lay down on the furrow and kept quite still. Soon the hare at full speed drew near the end of the field and the hedgehog's wife raised her head and cried, Here I am. The hare stood still in wonder. The wife was so like the husband that he did not doubt it was Mr. Hedgehog. Still he thought, There's something wrong about this. So he cried, Let us race back to the other end of the field. Away he ran so fast that his ears flew behind his tail. Soon he reached the other end of the field, there was the hedgehog. When he saw the hare coming, he cried, Here I am. The hare was more puzzled and angrier than ever. Let us try it again, he panted. Very well, said the hedgehog. I will keep it on as long as you wish. The hare ran again and again, up and down, down and up. The field he went. At one end, the hedgehog said, Here I am. At the other end, his wife said the same. At last, the hare was too tired to run any longer. He fell to the ground and owned that he had lost the race. The hedgehog took the bright gold piece. Then he called his wife out of the furrow, and they went home. And if they are not dead, they are living still.